everyone, Soundwave8084 here, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It is December 25th, and a lot of us have, or a lot of Transformer collectors and collectors in general, have been unwrapping new stuff, hauls you might say, just by the gift giving from their family and friends. I'll show off what I acquired today on Christmas, but in this video is going to be the results from Monday's fans pick question, plus the winner of my 3,000 subscribers giveaway will be announced in this video as well. So off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner. Whoever is here just for the winner, winner announcement, we'll get that right now. The winner is Rich Clemson. Clemson. I hope I said your last name correctly. You are the winner of my 3000 server giveaway. You have won the Biosphera Autobot clones. I'll comment on your comment down below and you can hit me up. Uh, email is listed on my YouTube about page. You can email me there as well. So that is the winner of the giveaway. So let's go ahead and move on to the results from the fans pick question and that was what do you think is the best toy from 1985 transformers toy line uh, i got a top three out of this number three we got perceptor which actually surprised me i like the figure as a good figure i really did like perceptor as a kid one of my favorites i still recall going to toys r us and picking him out with my father uh, I saw him, liked him, and I've always liked Perceptor as a character and a toy. And I'm waiting for a good figure to do him justice. Now we got one, I believe, in Titan Returns. It's a good looking figure. Overall, the quality of figure is lacking, in my opinion. Number two for 1985, I got Grimlock slash Dinobots. Now the Dinobots were named multiple times as a group. Uh, that was actually one vote less than what Grimlock was mentioned. So... Grimlock will actually pretty much take the cake there at number two as a Dinobots technically would have tied with Perceptor, but I put them in here with Grimlock. Now Dinobots, fan favorite, everybody loved them in the show, comics, and the toys. And then number one, most named toy, as your favorite toy from 1985 Transformers toy line, Jetfire. Now that one, I figured it'd be between Jetfire, Omega, and Shockwave. Uh, but I was surprised Omega and Shockwave did not make the list really at all. And Jetfire pretty much blew that one away. Excellent toy. Or one Transformer, best Transformers we got back then. Not made by Hasbro or Takara, of course. So that is the results of the best of that toy from 1985 Transformers toy line and the winner announcement. Now I will transition into my Christmas haul. So if people who aren't here for that can check out. Uh, also I'm going to say real quick, if I sound like I'm talking a little bit different, uh, do you ever like bite your tongue or you play around your teeth and you get like a little sore spot on your tongue? Yeah, I got that. So <laughs> it, it's causing me to talk different and everything. So haul or Christmas stuff I got from my uh, wife, family, kids. Uh, I got this. Uh, not a lot of people aren't into non-transforming figures, but there is Dead Prime. Uh, it, it was, was a, a Target exclusive from Super 7. Is fallen leader Optimus Prime, so he is the grayed out version. I'm just surprised they didn't give him the battle damage. There's no battle, I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna focus on it. There's no battle damage. The battle damage in the picture, I just kind of wish they would have done it on the actual figure. Also, got two more Alicons. I got another one over here. I've already reviewed it, of course, but I like that. These are like army builders, so you want multiples of these guys because in the movie and stuff, there are multiples of them, so you need lots of these guys to be able to take down Cup and Hot Rod. In order to protect the Quintessons with your Shocktacons and all that stuff. So, two more Alicons. G2 Megatron. This was a uh, Dresden Selects. Uh, based off the Earthrise mold. Uh, which I think it's in my other room. But this one here actually... You know, this wears the mold better than the Earthrise Megatron does. I think the head sculpt. Everything really fits this one. This looks really good. Love the, co the colors. It takes me back to the 90s. Uh, getting uh, G2 Megatron all that stuff. So cool figure here studio series skipjack and overload now i can complete the bayverse devastator which most people you know a lot of people don't like bayverse stuff or studio series but hey i want that devastator just because I, I don't know do i want that uh, i bought all the other ones might as well get these i got these today for christmas so now i will probably spend this weekend after work trying to put that guy together and last but not least i was gifted a Transformers Pop Funko Pop uh, Soundwave because you know Soundwave I like Soundwave 
Uh, it's the only one I have with Transformers. I've seen the Bumblebee at Target exclusive, which is based on the, I think, 2006 or 7 Classics Bumblebee toy, not the G1. Uh, but I know this one looked cool. Jetfire, what I've seen, is cool, but he sold out really fast. Uh, otherwise, you know, Jazz would probably be a good one to have. But, so, I'm not big, I'm not like a big Funko Pop collector guy, but I do get a few of things that like scratch a certain itch or something that takes them back to nostalgia or something I really, really like. So, I got this one gifted from my brother, and it's cool. So, Soundwave. So, this is all for this video of the fans pick results and in my giveaway results, and of course, of the Christmas haul. I will be filming another video shortly of the top five most underwhelming transformers i know i promised for christmas day i have four kids i'm running on two hours of sleep uh they had me up at 5 a.m so <laughs> i am very tired uh, i will get to that video uh and I'll, I'll film it tonight most likely and i'll get it up tomorrow i do have to work all day tomorrow as well so i don't know when i'll get that out i'm trying to get out early morning i want to say thanks for watching this video stay tuned i'll have more stuff coming before the new year's and also i'll be doing my top 20 of 2020 in the year with the bang who will be on that list i don't know you let me know your thoughts and who you think will make that list down in the comments below also if you want to let me know what you got in your christmas stocking presents under the tree you let me know that as well down below. Until the next one, peace out.